How's it going, everybody? It is a pleasure to be with you for our third week of Grow, our new online worship experience for Grace Lutheran Church in Carrollton, Texas. My name is Aaron Colick. I am one of your directors of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries at Grace Lutheran Church in Carrollton, Texas, and it is an absolute honor to be with you today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the songs we've had thus far. Uh, we're going a little bit older this time, right? The, these songs are just a few years old. We've got one from 2014, one from 2012, uh, so looking at eight years old in some of these songs, and the one we have coming up uh, after this is from five years ago, so none, nothing brand new here, but they may not have been songs you've heard before, so maybe it's brand new for you, right? But what I hope you are hearing in this is our theme for this week, which is forgiveness from God. Y'all, this is a hard pill to swallow sometimes. Forgiveness from God is something that I think we do not allow ourselves to have sometimes, um, even though we think we do, right? It's easy to forgive somebody else, and it's easy to forgive those who have wronged us because we know that's what we're supposed to do. And it might not be easy all the time, but you know that that's the thing you're supposed to do. But to forgive ourselves is a very, very difficult task indeed. So the songs that we've chosen this week have that resonance of why should we and then we're going to follow it up with some verses so the first song we listened to today was from Crowder one of my absolute favorites right this is immense and there is a song here uh that we're listening to called come as you are and it's probably one of his biggest hits since he rebranded himself as Crowder instead of the David Crowder band and there's a line in here that I love it says there's hope for the hopeless and all those who've strayed, come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's rest for the weary, rest for that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. Again, earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. Y'all, there is some deep regret in our hearts sometimes. There's deep sorrow that we carry with us. We, we walk through life wounded. There has never been a more apt time to think about that than this year. You know, some of us are dealing with some really, really difficult things. And what happens is that when we do something wrong, then we just start spiraling and we go down into this deep dive of like, oh, I'm the worst. I'm not worthy of forgiveness. And that's not what we're taught. We continue to hear this from Big Daddy Weave in Redeemed, a very close song to my heart, part of my um, spiritual awakening, uh, in my adult formative years for, uh, ministry. And I love this song. And one of the lines here gets me every time. All my life I have been called unworthy, named by the voice of my shame and regret. But when I hear you whisper, child, lift up your head. I remember, oh God, you're not done with me yet. And that is so true. I don't really care where you're from or who you are, God's not done with you because you are an amazing and beautiful child of God. Before I continue, I want you to know uh, a little bit about how I do devotions and how I try to do these things. Um, when I'm trying to, you know, research and listen and Google and read and all this kind of stuff, I always ask God, you know, your words, not my words, your actions, not my actions. And I always think to myself, who do I need to talk to right now? Who needs to hear something? I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you chose this particular devotion to listen to today, but I know that you are absolutely thinking this is a message for you. So I want you to listen up. There are some absolute key reasons why God forgives you. You are loved. You are his creation. You are absolutely created for one purpose. And that is something he has deigned for you. It might be that you're an amazing mom or dad. It might be that you're an amazing friend. You might be an amazing boss. You have done something to, make, to change someone's life. You can never forget that. And then after you fulfilled that purpose, guess what? God had something else for you lined up. So when you screw up, that's part of it. That's part of your growth. And God forgives you. If you don't believe me, let's check out some key verses here, y'all. Look at this. I've got four of them lined up for you today. There are tons in the Bible about forgiveness. But I want to highlight these four because I feel like they speak to the message 
that lines up with some of these songs and what I want you to hear today. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, key here, just as in Christ God forgave you. Because of Jesus' actions, what he did, you are forgiven, right? That's incredible. He paid the ultimate price so that you could be forgiven so honestly easily by God because he loves you and knows that there's redemption available because of the repentive, repentiveness, is that a word? Because of the way that you repent. Let's keep going down. How about Psalms? Psalm 86.5 says, You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you, not to the chosen, not to the few, to all who are call, who call to you. God, forgive me of my transgressions. I screwed up. I know I did. Please forgive me. Check this out. 1 John reads, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you regularly attend grace, you'll recognize that from the brief order of confession and forgiveness that we start pretty much every worship with. That is how that works. We confess our sins so that we can be forgiven because that's how our relationship with God is. And if you don't believe me, let's take it straight from the Savior's mouth. In the Gospel of Luke, he says, Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. So if we live a life that we can forgive others, that we can be compassionate, that we can be understanding, God's going to forgive us. That's how that works. This next song that you're going to listen to is from um, an artist named Andrew Peterson, and it's a song called Be Kind to Yourself. I think too often... You can beat yourself up. You can continue to dive further, down and down into a hole of despair, thinking, I don't deserve this love. I don't deserve forgiveness. I want to be forgiven, but how come I don't feel better? I think it's important for you to remember, whoever you are, God loves you just the way that you are. And he is shaping you to be this powerful, incredible, compassionate, awesome person. Please never forget that. No matter what. No matter who you are. No matter what you've done. No matter where you came from. No matter who you've wronged. No matter what you think. God loves you. And so do I. Let's pray. God, I love you. I love you with everything that I can possibly muster because I know you have shown me greater love in return. I ask that for everyone listening today, you show them in some way very soon how much you love them and that you help lift the burdens from our hearts so that we can forgive ourselves because you forgive us. And it's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I love doing this for you guys, and I hope that you're enjoying it even just a smidgen and that you're enjoying the music. Make sure you tune in next Wednesday for our next uh, section of Grow. Uh, we're going to be continuing to evaluate and try to change and update these things. So uh, if you have any suggestions or you have any requests, please throw it down in the comments below, or you can... Um, Email us at the church uh, through a variety of emails. You can find me at youth at gracelutherantx.org. And also, make sure you check out the description below and look at our Spotify playlist because we not only have these songs available on Spotify for you to listen to, but some others that kind of tie in with the message as well. Thanks, guys, and God bless.